yeah, 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 yeah. So we are laying some bass lines for nappy holidays. I got spray bottles, freaking scotch tape, pickles running all over the place, Red Bulls. So um, here we are. I made this awesome beat. It's got like a harmonic minor tone throughout the whole thing. And I chopped up a piano, which the sample sounds like this. Uh, so I kind of just matched it with the with the bass. Pickle, stop it. Pickle stops barking when he sees water, which is awesome. All right, so um, because he's teasing the other dog right now. So uh, I just like took the themes of this sample, played it on the bass. I came up with an awesome bass line. Ready? simple and lock it in with the kick which would be super simple um, because that's where this is where the verse would be or I could go complex again and come up with a cool pattern but I don't know I think maybe locking it with the kick with some slides so what I mean by locking it with the kick is like every time the kick drum hits I'm playing the bass so Stay in that pocket. pauses on that first phrase, I'm going to do a couple bass fills. You know, like this. Oh shit, I forgot the sample changes again. Alright, time to create a new bass line part. So sometimes, um, and I do learn these and I'm able to play them full. I don't have to have um, a pick for the bass. But I like the tone that... Um, I like the tone that a pick gets. Of course, I'm a, a, a sole professional bass player. I'm a professional, eh, I, don't, I don't know, you know, but someone whose primary instrument is the bass. You can get any tone with the bass without a pick. But sometimes just a nice pick. With a nice pick and some palm muting. It's just easier for me and it sounds cooler. Um, so, but um, this next part, um, so what I was saying is I could play the whole thing through, but sometimes if I'm in time restriction, I'll write the parts piece by piece, you know? And if I really need to prove something at the end, I'll play the whole thing straight live through. So next part, anyway, there's lots of options. One sec. 
theory behind it or just that your finger is the right note figure out the key that the song is in and listen to the sample and let the sample guide you for your melodies and your live instruments that you choose to use <clears throat> so once again find the sample play with the sample chop the sample up and have fun with it until you get your loop then play around and find the right note on your instruments and if you know theory then what key it's in and then let the sample guide you into, into recording the right additives with live instruments this bass is totally guided by the lower fre listening to the low frequencies of this piano sample because now when I take this piano out it's all my instruments 
Sounds better. Shit. Oh, God. So, that's when you know you're doing good. You need that sample, you don't even freaking need it. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm feeling this now, even with the sample muted. So, pay attention to the frequencies, the treble and the bass when you're doing samples. There, you chopped it up so it's not what the musician played. So that's your interpretation, right? And that's your melody you made with these given notes of the sample. Then replace them with your own instruments, and it's your own idea. So, um, that's one way to go about adding live instruments to sample beats. I did the same with the guitar. I basically followed the created melody with the chopped up sample out of order. Pickles gotta poop. And um, now there's no sample in this and it's even hotter. So, um, yeah, that's it. If you play live instruments, don't hate on samples. If you only sample, don't hate on live instruments. And just because you sample, it doesn't mean that there has to be a live instrument. And just because you do live instruments doesn't have to be a sample in there. But when you're aware enough to merge the two and allow them to guide you into knowing what needs to be next, that's when you got yourself a good song. So that's all for now in this edition of Nappy Vlogs, adding live instruments to a sampled hip hop beat. I love y'all, stay tuned. Nappy Holidays coming soon. Go to nappymusicofficial.com, nappymusicofficial.com, nappymusicofficial.com. Nappy Music everywhere on social media and hit that subscribe button. Nappy Music videos on YouTube. Bye.